Hey guys, today we're going to show you how to delete a directory that is not empty in Linux. So we have a couple directories in here, test2 and test3. <clears throat> so let's try removing, well, first let's uh, create another directory, 4. Now test4 is empty, right? So um, let's try removing test4, rm test4. Um, actually, it's, uh, you can't use the rm command because it's a directory, so you use rmdir. The rmdir command will remove it no problem, as expected, right? So rmdir, if you try to use rmdir on test2, it's going to say, failed to remove test2, two, two, directory not empty. And same thing with test3, because those are not empty. So you cannot use the rmdir command to remove these. So um, let's look at what's inside these. Test2 has a bunch of files, and test3 also has those same files. So um, it, rmdir is great to remove an empty directory, because um, one of the things I like about it is that it confirms that the directory is actually empty before you delete it, so you don't accidentally delete things. But if you want to remove a directory that has stuff in it, you use the recursive and the force flag. So you, if you want to delete um, test2, you would say rm-rf test2. Now be really careful with this. Um, saying force will force it to remove it. And, um, and having uh, an R in there will recursively remove it. So anything under that directory is getting removed. So if you accidentally specify the wrong directory, this could be catastrophic. So, you know, be careful with what you're doing um, and pay attention to what you're doing. Understand what the commands do and everything, you know, do this at your own risk. Um, so anyways, RMRF test two, there we go, successful, it's gone. No more test two. Now, um, I wanna show you the manual way you can fix this, say if you don't wanna do that. Um, you could go into test three, right? You wanna be able to delete test three see a bunch of files in there you could just remove all of these files inside test 3 so now it becomes an empty directory go back up here now you can say rm dir now you can now use the rm dir command Te test 3 and there we go it's gone so two different ways you could remove that if you wanted to um and that is that's about it so um the options i should tell you what the options do so Dash R is recursive and needed for removing directories. So let's say if we did have an empty directory, like say test two, let's recreate it. Now it's empty. Now you could use rmdir on this, no problem, but the rm command won't work, right? Now, technically you can use the rm command if you use a dash R, right? So there you go. Now, let's say if we recreate this, now um, the the, the dash F flag is needed if the directory is not empty. So a dash R is needed if it's a directory and using that will delete any directories underneath it. Whereas the dash F will, uh, is, is needed if it's not empty. So anyways, um, so let's say if we did an mkdir sub one, right? So um, let's try rmdir, yeah. rmdir test2. So it's not empty. Um, you can say rm-r test2, and that deletes it, right? So you can recursive, recursively delete it, but um, all right, so let's say if we have test2 with a directory test1 in it. And we have an empty file in there. Now if we if we run rm-r on this, um, all right, looks like that does work. So there we go. So um, apparently we, we don't actually need the dash f flag. So anyway, let's take a look at the man page. Now, um, yeah, so dash F will ignore non-existing files and arguments, and it will never prompt. So it's never gonna say, hey, are you sure you wanna remove this? So for whatever that's worth, um, if, if you're getting prompts or anything like that, 
and you want to ignore them um, in cases where that comes up, just use the F flag. So hopefully you found this useful or at least interesting, if nothing else. You might want to give me a thumbs up. Um, you might want to hit that subscribe button also and uh, hit the little bell icon up. Otherwise, uh, YouTube's probably not going to let you know when we come out with a new video. Um, we do have a lot of great stuff coming up, and, and we've actually, if you want to check our list of videos, we've already put out a lot of uh, pretty interesting things, some more interesting than others. Um, we cover a lot of great stuff, um, coding, servers, hardware, software, 3D printing, electronics, uh, single board computers, robots, networking, all sorts of great tech-related stuff that you're not going to want to miss. So if you, if you want your YouTube feed to uh, you know, be that much more interesting, you're going to want to hit that subscribe button. But more important than any of that stuff, you're going to want to leave a comment down below, especially if you know something that I don't know. Um, definitely let me know, not just for me, but for the next person who comes along and watches this video and reads the comments. Um, leave a comment that for them also. Any, any comments, questions, criticisms, whatever you want to say, I probably want to hear it. So do leave a comment down below. And uh, that's pretty much it for today. So as always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.